guys, happy day 19 of the Positive Mindset Challenge. Um, my cat's gonna be in the background, so don't let her distract you too much. But let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start every day the same with our gratitude sticky note. So today I'm going to put that I am grateful for the sun because it has been raining a little bit here and I just really enjoy when the sun is out. So here is my little sun. And now your task for today is going to be fun facts about yourself. So me and Mary were talking about how a lot of times people say facts or things about themselves that they think people will find interesting, but truly these other facts are what are interesting about you. So I know that was kind of confusing, so just hold on with me. But she went speed dating, so if anyone is interested, just to let you know, um, they're currently doing speed dating online through like Zoom or Skype or something. So you can speed date while this is all going on. But she was talking about how this one gentleman was talking about his like work and all this kind of stuff. And she was just like, yeah, like it was like kind of interesting. And then he started talking about how he went to this retreat in the middle of Bali and like has a kilt or some crazy story and she was he was just like yeah I just don't think people find that interesting and she's like no like that is so interesting like that's what I want to know about people and we just started talking about how it's so interesting to us what we find interesting about ourselves and what other people find interesting about ourselves so like for me I know one of the things that I always share of like fun facts is I had my appendix out when I was three on Halloween and like to me that's like a big like oh it's a fun fact it's really cool but some other people find the fact that I've like lived in New York and Dallas and Florida by myself is a really cool fact and you know it's just a funny thing so I feel that you should just write these down like write down fun facts about yourself and have your friends like say which fun facts they like or you know just have a conversation and see like what fun facts you can share and they're like oh that's really interesting and like find out their perspective of what they find interesting because I'd be intrigued to see how many match up like how many of the things you find interesting that they find interesting and how many things you're just like yeah it's like a normal thing like uh, another thing is Mary's a twin and to her you know she's like oh yeah I'm a twin it's not a big deal but like to other people they're like oh my god you're a twin that's so cool kind of thing so the perception of the fun facts is kind of what I want you to like take a look into. So this is going to be our card of the day and our word of the day is movement. In the world today, it can be quite easy to forget to move. Say that with me now, move. Movement is an essential part of the journey to you. Whether you're an active person who never stops moving or someone who has lost touch with the beauty of moving your body, this card is an invitation to really connect with the movement of your body, to let go of the thoughts and focus on what the movement feels like in you. When you choose this card, you are invited to explore movement. Maybe it's time to try something new, an exercise class, yoga, dancing, maybe just in your living room, walking around, or maybe it's time to connect with an old favorite movement type that never fails in connecting with you. So have you been staying active during this quarantine and what are you willing to try? Like maybe try a new class, see what your friends are doing. I know I have friends doing online yoga classes, friends doing workout classes, friends doing ballroom from your living room, melt classes, whatever you're feeling. Like don't be afraid to just try them. I mean, you can always take one class. I know a lot of people are doing them for free right now. So now is the time to get up and just enjoy. So try that, get your movement going, you know, dance it out. Your journal question is gonna be, what do you notice when you become aware of the movement of your body? What types of movement does your body most enjoy? How could you move your body today that would give you the most energy and or bring you the most peace, whatever you need most? So I know for me, just like getting up and walking around and like stretching a little, getting stuff done makes me feel active. I also really enjoy it being outside. So if I can do like yoga outside or take a walk outside, I love that also. So just staying staying loose staying moving I mean we're stuck inside so we're looking at the same thing so maybe it's good to go outside maybe it's good to just like do some jumping jacks in the house whatever you're feeling it doesn't have to be big but just get up and move you know so enjoy the rest of your day I will see you guys tomorrow at 11:30, and I'll talk with you later bye guys <laughs>